Hello and welcome to this video about managing your 32 and 64-bit plugins on Receptor. Before we begin, I'll talk a little bit about the 32 and 64-bit plugins that are installed. Every Receptor ships out the door with all 32-bit plugins. A few of the plugins on Trio and Quattro are shipped with the 64-bit versions as well. For certain performance situations or programming situations, you may want to run all your plugins in 32-bit mode. And this video will cover changing your plugins from the 64-bit to the 32-bit version back and forth. Right now, most of the plugins I have loaded on my receptor are 32-bit. So you can see FM8 and Poscar and Ivory 2. However, my Contact 5 is 64-bit indicated by the small 64 icon to the right of the plugin's image. If I want to change this to 32-bit, I simply go up to Setup, and then click on the Software Manager. Now, it's important before we continue to show you that we need to, to make sure the IntelliBridge feature is on when we're switching between 32 and 64-bit plugins. That's because IntelliBridge allows us to load either 32 or 64-bit versions of the plugin at the same time. So to continue, I'll click on the Plugin tab and then the Validate Ignored button. Wait for this progress bar to finish. Now in the list that's left, we need to find Contact. You'll notice it lists all three versions of contact and it says ignored, rejected duplicate. So to start converting them, I'll click to highlight the first one and then press the validate button. It's going to let me know as each one passes validation and I'll just continue down the list. Once you've converted all the plugins you need to for this time, just click the X to close out of the software manager. And now you can see the 64-bit icon is gone from my contact instances because they are now operating in 32-bit mode.